All right, and we are back in BandLab. So this is the drum beat we have so far. So notice that it's pretty short. It's only four beats or one bar. Just remember one bar is made up of four beats. One, two, three, four. If I want just this section to loop, I'm gonna hit that red bar at the top. Bam! Now I play that. And it's gonna loop. But today we're gonna be recording and creating a melody. So I'm gonna turn off this red bar for now. And what I need to do is give myself a little more room to play. So I'm gonna click this little refresh sign, that little spiral, click that, and I'm gonna drag it out until, uh, let's say nine. You could technically drag it out forever, but I'm just gonna drag it to nine because that's full eight bars and that's a nice even number to work with. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn my red looper on and drag this out all the way to nine as well. So now this whole thing is gonna repeat. Every bar, the drum beat is gonna loop, and then after eight bars, the whole enchilada is gonna repeat. So I'll just give you a little preview. And so on and so forth. So now that I have some room to get creative and try ideas out, now I'm gonna start thinking about how to create a melody. So the first thing we need to do is actually add an instrument that we can use to play a melody. So I'm gonna go to this plus sign right here underneath the drum kit. And I have all these options. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom, MIDI instruments. And this is gonna pull up all the different instruments I can use. Now this can be a little overwhelming, so let me just take you through it. They have some sort of recommendations, orchestral sounds, best for beat makers, epic synth leads, dark basses, classic guitars and such like that. But if you wanna search by category, you're gonna actually go to this top bar right here and slide it to the side. You can see we got the same categories, but they're a little more organized and you're gonna get everything in each category if you click on one. So I'm gonna to go to keyboards because I know that keyboards can play melodies. Now, I have all my keyboards here and there are so many, it's kinda of crazy. If you're a little indecisive, what you can do is go through and just press play and listen to them. So it's a long list, but if you're curious, you can go ahead and listen to all of them or just pick one at random and see where it takes you. Now, just a little life hack here. If you want to get more specific in keyboards, you can click on pianos and it'll only pull up pianos for you. Now the list is much shorter. If you want to try that again, click on pianos, go to synth keys. Now I just got my synth keys. It's quite a lot, but it's still less than the total and so on and so forth. You can break it down into categories. Now I'm gonna teach you a dark secret. If you go to percussion, which is at the very end here, if you go to percussion, you will find a melodic instrument here. In fact, you'll find the marimba, the glockenspiel, uh, tubular bells, xylophone, all these can play clear pitches, even though they're percussion instruments. And I'm not gonna lie, I really love the xylophone. Oh yeah. Now, as soon as I click that xylophone, this is what pops up. At the top left, it says xylophone, but underneath I see piano keys. No matter what software instrument you choose, if it's a melodic instrument, you're gonna see piano keys. If I press these, I can actually hear it. So now let's talk about how to create a melody. Pretty simple rules. If you are new to music and you do not know what these notes are or how to tell them apart, this is a nice little guideline to follow. Stick to either the white keys, all white keys, or all black keys. In this way, no matter what you play, it's probably gonna sound good. In order to mix the two colors, you really need to know what you're doing. So let me show you what I mean. Sounds good. Sounds good, but if I don't know what I'm doing, hey, that actually sounded pretty dope. But for the sake of these lessons, because we're gonna be adding chords later on, we really wanna make sure we know exactly what we're doing. So for now, stick to either all black or all white. Now, even though we are creating a melody, the most important thing in music is really gonna be that rhythm. So the first thing I'm gonna decide in my melody is not actually which notes I'm gonna use, but the rhythm I'm gonna play. So I'm gonna hit that play button in the bottom right there and I'm gonna listen to the drum beat. And as the drum beat is going, I'm gonna come up with a rhythm. I can tap on my leg, I can beatbox the rhythm that I want for my melody, I can just sort of mumble it. I think I'm gonna mumble it. So I'll hit play, I'll listen to my drum beat and I'm gonna mumble a rhythm that then I can turn into a melody. 
So I had a rhythm there. It was like da 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 da. Now what I'm gonna do is figure out which notes I want to use to play that. So let me see. Hmm, that sounds like Barney. What if I use less notes? Hmm, not sure if that's the vibe either. I want to use more than two notes, so it just sounds like you can sing along to it. Let me try one more. Ooh, I like that. It's mysterious, but it's also fun and playful, and it's got that rhythm that just came to me, right? So before I even record anything, I'm just gonna hit play one more time, and I'm gonna practice playing along to my drum beat. I'm gonna keep it rhythmic, and I'm gonna work on getting this just right before I record. You might notice that as I'm playing around with the melody, I might change it up a bit. That's totally fine. You gotta be in the moment, you gotta try different things and see what works for the track. Here's our practice session. And now I'm ready to not record, but to set up for the recording process. So in order to set up for recording, there's a few things I have to do. First, let me close out this instrument so we can go back to our session view where all these instruments come together. I'll just tap that arrow on the top right corner. And now I can see not only my xylophone, but also my 808 kit. So check this out. The metronome is that icon in the bottom right corner. It looks like a box with a sideways stick. Click on that. And what you're going to hear now when I press play is something keeping time. And just to elaborate, I'm going to pull out this slide and I'm going to go ahead and mute my drum beat by pressing M. Press play again so you can hear just the metronome on its own. So the metronome is playing the beat. And just a reminder, the beat is there in music whether there's sound or not. You can feel a beat with your body right now just by moving back and forth. There's always a beat, even if there's no instruments. So now that we've made our point, I'm going to turn our drum beat back on. And I want to mess with our metronome functions to get us really ready for recording. So I turned it on in the bottom right corner, clicked it, turned it green. Now I'm going to go to the settings icon, that gear at the top. And here I have all my info about my metronome. So my tempo is 95 beats per minute. I'm not gonna change that because it'll change the speed of my track. I can adjust the metronome volume. If it's super loud, I can turn it down. If it's super quiet, I can turn it up, but I'm gonna leave it right there at 80%. Now there's two settings right here under recording that are super, super important. The first is count in. Count in basically means that before BandLab starts recording, it's gonna give you a few beats to get ready. Now, if it says one bar, remember one bar equals four beats. So it'll give you one, two, three, four, record, just like that. If you turn it to two bars, it's gonna give you eight beats altogether. Just depends on what you want, how much time you need to get ready. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to one bar. I'll close that. Now, the next thing is MIDI overdub. Basically, MIDI is what BandLab records when you play a virtual instrument. It doesn't record audio, it records little files that say what note you played and exactly when, and then it plays that back to you. So overdub is that if we go all the way through our track with our session looper, and then it starts going back to the beginning, then it's gonna record and add to what you did before. So now you'll have layers, you'll have your first pass and your second pass. So that's MIDI overdub for you. Right now, leave it off, but make sure your count in is on for one bar. Now click that audio waveform at the top to get back to our session view. And to open back up our xylophone, I'm gonna double click the little instrument icon, which for some reason is bongos. Now here we are. So now we've done it all. We've looped our drum beat, we've turned on our session looper, we've turned on our metronome and our count in, and we've also practiced our part so that we're ready to record. So I'll go ahead and click that record button. And remember, it's gonna give me one bar to get ready that means it's gonna give me four beats to get ready. So you'll see that little ball at the center of the screen start not at the number one, but a little bit before it as it gets ready for me to record starting at bar one. Check it out. Just like that. Now you'll also notice if you look at the bottom of the screen when I hit that red record button, it actually counts off one, two, three, four. So you know exactly how long you have to get ready. Pretty cool, right? 
All right, now this is the fun part. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can actually fix it later and I'll show you how. But let's go ahead and hit that record button. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. And I have to do some editing. A few things happened. My timing was off on some of them and I completely missed a note as well. That being said, we'll actually tackle editing in the next video. We're gonna learn about how to edit MIDI, how to write MIDI, and also how to quantize MIDI, that magical Q word. If you don't know what that means, then you gotta watch the next video to find out. All right, everybody, that is how you create a melody in BandLab. So just remember these key points. If you're new to music, stick to all white keys or all black keys. When you're coming up with a melody, first decide a rhythm for your melody before you decide the notes. In order to record, turn on that metronome in the bottom, go to settings, turn on your count in, and of course, decide whether you want MIDI overdub on or off. And most important of all, practice your idea, jam out, have fun, and then hit that record button. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. I am out.